Hey, boys and girls, please write your first name, last name, and date on the line. We are going to do a text feature hunt. You need your Scholastic News to answer the questions. Question one is about a headline. A headline is big and bold. It is the title of an article. What is the headline at the top of this article? So if we go into our Scholastic News, we're going to go into it. What is big and bold? That is the headline. Remember, your head is at the top of your body. The headline is at the top of the page and is big and bold. I'll give you a hint. It is in red. And yes, all of the words that are uppercase are the words that you should have uppercase. And I would like a full sentence. The headline of this article is question number two, a subheading. A subheading is the title of a small part of the article. Which subheading tells about the finding of Lincoln's hot letters? So if we go back in, we have three subheadings in this article. Also hint, they are also red. They are bold and larger than the regular print, but not as large as the heading. So we have three subheadings. One of the three subheadings is about finding the hot letters. So which one of the three is about finding the hot letters? And on the, this line, we're going to write the subheading that tells about finding the hot letters is, and you're going to write it. Question three, a caption gives information about an image. Look at the caption on page two. It is written in white. What does it tell you about the picture? So we're going to go back in our Scholastic News. We're going to locate page number two. We're going to locate the picture. Here it is. We're going to locate the caption. They gave us a hint and said it's in white. Here it is. And we're going to write what it says about the photo or about the picture. So we're going to write the caption says 
and you're going to write what the caption says. Question four, bold words. Bold words are darker than other words to show that they are important. There are three bold words in this article. Write them below, one on each line. So if we go back in the article, we notice that there are some bold words. No, it is not the headline. No, it is not these blue words here. No, it's not the subheadings. Look for the dark black words. Mine are also highlighted in yellow. Write one word on this line, another word on that line, and a third word on that line. Then turn everything in to the finished work bin when it is completed.